take it away. Yo, what's going on, SGDQ 2022? I am ecstatic to be here on Friday morning showing this game off to you for probably the first time for most of you. This is Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon by Yacht Club Games. It is a mashup of a lot of stuff, and you're going to see all of the puzzle and the combat and the RNG and hopefully not the fact that it's a roguelike because we're going to uh, finish this run and get the secret ending. Uh, I got some friends with me if y'all want to introduce yourselves. Hi, everyone. I'm Moni Streams. I'm Hank Sinatra. They're going to help me kind of fill in the blanks, give you kind of the cliff notes as we make our way along here. Uh, before we start, just a quick shout out to Mark from IGN and Celia and Waz from uh, Yacht Club Games for doing the devs react to speedruns with me at the start of once this was released. It was an incredible uh, opportunity. And with that being said, if uh, I got a lot of friends in the audience, so if y'all can help me out, we're going to start this in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. All right, so this run's going to start on the planes. Uh, you can see in the top of the screen there, there is a progression bar that is filling up every time Dan clears anything from the screen, enemies, blocks, potions, any of that. As that fills up, it's going to spawn three chests and then eventually a door that's going to take him to the next level, so he wants to get there as fast as possible. Uh, the chests contain items that are expendable and he can use to kind of go faster a little bit. Uh, but for this first level, he's just going to grab the keys. The keys also spawn anytime something that requires a key spawns. Uh, so there's the door. He's already in there. Level one Let's go. is done. <laughs> Slow down, Dan. I can't explain no. that fast. <laughs> so yeah, we're going into level two. And after level one, we uh, spawn shops. So basically, at shops, Dan can buy basically permanent upgrades that are called relics. Um, so yeah, he's going to try. So sometimes in the shops, depending on what spawns, he's going to try and get them at the first time. Because maybe a super good relic appears on the, the first time he unlocks the shop. And then if he doesn't get it, they, it might not spawn later. So he's going to try and get the shops always. Well, we got some health there. That's a nice first upgrade to get. Just make things a little bit safer for a marathon setting. We get a little bit of extra health. Treasure Knight does start out with the most of, of anybody, which, with it, which is five. It's one of the reasons we usually grab him for a setting like this. Need one more key here, hopefully. All right, now let's get out of here. The other thing about Treasure, uh, Treasure Knight is he does one more damage coming, coming from the bottom. So you're going to see Dan a lot of the time be on the bottom of the screen and try to move up through the enemies to do extra damage. Yeah, I like to compare this game to Crypt of the Necrodancer. So every time that Dan moves, the enemies around him are going to try and do a pattern. Um, so yeah, it's very Crypt of the Necrodancer. And that was the first uh, secret bit that we need for the secret ending. That required three keys, and Dan got a key fragment. So that's why he was saving keys earlier in the run. He's not really opening many chests. Uh, but now he's look, yeah, it looks like he's going to start grabbing items. That was a shield. So that takes, makes it so he takes one less damage anytime he runs into an enemy. Yeah, we got the diamond dust from that uh, key fragment, which is going to improve all of these temporary items I get. It's really strong for these runs because you can start relying not only on permanent upgrades, but also the uh, temporary upgrades. And they're always the fastest way to kill the bosses. And we're going to skip this shop. There's Skipping nothing that one. in there. Really looking for items that either increase base damage or uh, increase health to start out with. Here's the first boss. We got Plague Knight. The way that, so the, the bosses are randomized. Um, for the first three bosses, uh, you can get one of three bosses. There's pools for each boss fight. Um, Plague Knight, I believe, not one of the faster ones. Yeah, he jumps around a lot, and um, the, the explosions plus the poison he leaves on the floor uh, make it a little bit slower. We are playing on infinite stock, so it's more kind of a Tetris-style game where you can you can die and respawn, but if the, uh, the board fills up, that's when uh, we're going to get the game over, which we're not going to see today. There we go. First boss down. Yeah. All right, so in an effort to save time, we, we've got a couple levels here coming up that I want to I wanna talk through a little bit. I just want to give a couple shout-outs uh, right now. I want to give a shout-out to Cliffy, the Blacktastic, and Barbarous King, who I know is out in the, the, the uh, audience right now. Y'all are just, like, generally amazing and have had a really positive impact on me. And I just wanted to take a chance to say that while I'm up here, and we can also get a uh, quick donation in. Yeah, you got it. We've got $5 from Bad Br Brad Brains that says... Congrats to Dan for all the work he's done on this game. Been amazing to see you build your skills for such a great cause. Yo, shout out to Brad. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Brad. You got, you got time for another two. 
All right, we've got $10 from Professor Shinobi who says, a haiku. When solving puzzles, Shovel Knight's advice, dig deep. Now for shovelry. Donation goes to support bonus game seven, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Let's make SGDQ even longer. Thank you so much for that. And we've got $50 from TK who says, good luck, Dan. Dig deep, and I know you've got this because you're the ace of spades. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so we just got some more health there, and I got the bomb seed bag. So I'm immune to all explosions, which is fantastic for the secret ending run. Thanks again, everybody that donated for it. I love doing the secret ending. Yeah, this is shaping up to be uh, a real quality build here. Yeah. Already max HP. Yeah, we're going to yeah. go ahead. Yeah, something important to mention is that basically everything is RNG that you see in the screen. Um, so Dan can control and kind of know, understand what the patterns are going to be from the enemies and what type of enemies are going to spawn, but the order that they appear are completely RNG. Especially all the potions that I end up needing to heal for. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of times I'm grabbing potions at full health because, you know, going this fast, clearing anything uh, speeds up the level. So it, so it can be tricky. You want to preserve your potions, but you always also want to go fast. So it's, it's really kind of a, there's a meta there. All right, we need to get in this door. I want a little bit more money. The next uh, part of the secret ending takes money. So I want to take advantage of all of this so we can make sure to Clearing get that run room. done. Okay. All right, we're already halfway through. How's everybody yeah. feeling? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the next part of the secret. That cost him one uh, permanent notch of health. So now he's down from the max to nine HP, which is still very strong. He's going to be just fine here. Oh, yeah. And the, uh, the diamond dust power up we got up earlier um, increases all the damage on these temporary items, even like this ice axe, which normally would just do damage over time. It also does plus one base damage. And an important part of this combat is when you kill an enemy on that turn, if you get the killing blow, you don't take damage. So the more base damage we can get, the quicker we're killing things. Oh, we got the ice axe going into scrap night. Here we go. Don't blink. Let's go. <laughs> Very nice. Those, those temporary items are a huge part of the speed run, knowing when to grab them, when to just, you know, dive into a boss fight. Right before bosses, you'll see him kind of save chests for the very end, and he's usually going to be looking looking for an item that's really powerful against the boss that's coming up and, and trying to get an ideal. Oh, I want to buy the toad. I want to buy it, but I need to save the money. Ah, so he needs 20,000 gems uh, for the next bit of the secret. So he needs to try to find enough money to afford a, a really good item that's in the shop there. Uh, we, might, uh, we might be starting over here if this uh, goes sideways. I believe. Yeah, me too. All right. These rats. I need to get to this chest very badly. Oh, we're immune to bombs. Let's oh, go. There we go. Let's there we go. go. Looks this, scary for a minute there. Oof. This this <laughs> is the level that, you know, if uh, if something's going to go sideways, it's here. Oh, getting the, the quad chest Wonderful. room. We're going to be able to. All right, let's get the, actually, let's get the spear going to do damage to two rows and it'll clear out these guys really quickly. Just going to take our time a little bit. I want to make sure we get through this alive. I've got all the money I need. He's also trying to fill up so that that gem meter on the bottom, you see that kind of glowing and flashing a little bit. Uh, the, as he defeats enemies, that's going to fill up. And as when it's full, he is uh, getting more gems. The, uh, the faster he goes, the more enemies uh, he, he kills, the, uh, the more money he's going to make. Oh, and we got oh, a full beautiful. board clear. Thank you. Uh, that's a nice bonus. I'm going to attribute nice. that to Celia at Lot Yacht Club. She was a... Uh, she Don't sent me code. that. I, I know. <laughs> Let's get this last secret bit and another free item. And I get the dagger. Yo. Oh, fantastic. It does an extra base damage for the first time I attack an enemy. So it's going to gonna lead to a lot more one-shots, which is a lot more health that I'm spending. And the, the health and damage in this game is really like a combined resource. Because the more you, the quicker you kill things, the less health you depend on, or the slower that you kill things, the more health you depend on. So it's it's a give and take every single run because there, there's no way to know what your build's going to be. Uh, there's a pool of about 25 items, so you just got to know what you know what's left, what how to combo things, how to use things together. And I'm saving some of these shop items, so hopefully I can grab 
Let's see. We got a little bit of money. We can go shopping. It's no Mall of America, but <laughs> <laughs> let's see what's in here. Um, ooh, oh, the glove. The glove. Okay. Let's go. This is the boss killer. Plus one damage to individual targets, and all the bosses are individual targets. I also got the uh, the wand that I'm going to try to save for this mini boss coming up, which is, this is one of the tougher parts of the run because the screen is so small. If you die, it's going to fill up quickly. We're just going to zap him six times, and that is exactly what we need. And this is the last uh, part of the secret uh, ending. We are set up for that uh, incentive run, and it'll happen before you know it. We've got time for, let's say, three donations between now and the next boss. I can do that for you. We've got $25 from Matthew, who says, so glad to be right here in the room to support Dan during his run. Much love from the Kaizo crew. We've got $100 from Hickther that says, always a pleasure to hang out while you practice a new indie speed run. And here's a dollar for approximately every time I've died on level one of this game trying to go as fast as you. Yo, thanks, Hickther. <laughs> And we've got $25 from CDC who says, I've got to donate for my favorite game of 2021. Good luck on the run for this amazing game. All right, so this is the boss we didn't want to see, but uh, it'll take a little bit longer just to play this safe here. All these blocks. Not getting very lucky with uh, the bosses, but definitely getting very lucky with the items that we've seen so far. Yes. Should be no problem. Just gonna play it safe and grab some potions. And uh, Polar Knight, I I'm tired. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to get there past here. It's the summer. We don't need this frozen stage. So this, we're coming up on what would be the normally the last boss of normal ending. Um, I'm going to take my time here again because this uh, this can get a little bit hairy as well, depending on what uh, what power ups we get given. So if you want to give us another two donations, we got time for it. Yeah, you got it. We've got twenty five dollars from V Black Tastic, who says, "Love hey. you, Dan." All of us are proud of you with your Infernax and Shovel Knight performances, and you're just a big part in making the people's lives better as the people you've praised. Let's keep doing big things together. Dono goes to Runner's Choice. Yo, thanks, Bobby. And I've got... Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got $10 from Neo Yi who says, Puzzles in my digging game? It's more likely than you think. So hyped to see the true ending run for Pocket Dungeon. Good luck to everyone. All right, Thank we're, you so much. We're getting close. I think we got another chest spawn. I'm, I'm trying to save some of these chests because there's there's a one item that's really impressive. If we can get some good RNG, we've we've had. I'm I'm not gonna to, not gonna ask for too good RNG because we've already had a really great run so far. Not even at 12 minutes yet. Uh, this would be a good normal ending run, let alone secret ending. Oh, we got the spoke nice. bomb. Oh, baby. Puzzle Knight, I'm sorry, the game is your namesake, but we don't have time to stick around. Uh, so let's go. All right. There we go. 12 go. minutes flat, normal ending. <laughs> Whew. We're going to move on to the secret ending stage. Luckily, we're immune to bombs because this stage is going to throw a whole lot of them at us. And uh, we're going to make it through here quick. And we got two more bosses after this. And uh, then we're going to be done. Save a little bit of time for everybody going forward. I should say to not, if, if you're interested in checking out this game, don't be intimidated by how fast Dan is going. You do not need to go this fast to play it. It is a blast. Um, definitely check it out if you have not already. Yeah, especially if you love Shovel Knight. Um, something that I really love about this game is that it brings back some of that popular characters that everyone loves, but also introduces new ones like Puzzle Knight and Scrap Knight that we saw earlier. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. I want to go to the shop. I got a bunch of money just for fun. Ah, we'll get the fifth string. <laughs> so if you're if you're a true shovel head, which I just made that name up, <laughs> um, you're going to know the Enchantress is always the final boss at the top of the Tower of Fate. So we're going to we're going to take her on here. Um, we're probably going to use a little death abuse to reset her AI. That was definitely uh, definitely on purpose. 100% intended. 100% for entertainment purposes, <laughs> at least. Right here is where I want to die, because this that phase lasts forever until you die. Um, and then she's going to give uh, Puzzle Knight a big ego boost once we kill her and turn him into an egocentric yeah. mastermind. <laughs> and we're going for the risky strats. We're going to uh, nuke him down real quick. I will call time uh, when it's over, so be ready for that. All right. 
get him to change phases, grab some of these potions. And three, two, one, time. Very nice. Let's go. Well done. Yo, uh, just some quick shout outs. Thanks again to Hank and Moni. They just like learned this game in the last couple of days. It's a huge help to have friends on the couch. Shout out to uh, the, the, all the other runners of this game. We've got a great little community if you want to check it out. Shout out to my amazing wife who's watching from home. And um, yeah, y'all enjoying Friday and Saturday? All right, let's send it back over to the producers. I'm Dan the VP. Check me out on Twitch if you want and enjoy the rest of the marathon. GDQ, let's hear it one more time for Dan the VP. What a great run. Dan, you had so much love coming in during that run, including $100 from A-Rom, who says, had to donate now for a good cause and for such a fun run and commentary. Thank you so much for that. We are going to take a quick break. Get up, stretch, hydrate, do what you got to do. We will be right back. Welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick 2022, powered by Twitch. I'm the Kyle Thomas. We had so many great donations come in during that run, including this one here. We had $84 from Spooty. Says Spooty here, donating $1 for each of my 84 missed steps during last night's Step Mania Not ITG run. Thanks to everyone again at GDQ for everything they do to lift up both the speedrunning and rhythm game communities. When we stand on each other's shoulders, we are all giants. Thank you so much for that amazing donation, Spooty. And we are going to go over for an interview with Scent and Mr. Game and Shout. Take it away. Thank you so much, the Kyle Thomas. Good morning, everyone. God, I, just, I love to hear you all here. I love it. I love it. This is Summer Games Done Quick 2022. I am Mr. Game and Shout, and these are some of the amazing prizes that we have available right now. Everything that I'm about to show you is available through the end of Chocobo GP, just a couple of runs away. So you can still get in to win these. $50 minimum donation will get you in to win everything that I'm about to show you and put you a long way towards winning that grand prize bundle. We'll talk about that in just a moment too, but let's get to it. Starting off with a Animal Crossing... Bell coin. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the quality on it. Um, and, you know, don't spend it all in one place. A uh, $5 minimum donation gets you in to win this. Thank you so much, Cute Monster Props, for sending this our way. Also, for a $5 minimum donation, they have done it again. Pearl Pop has sent in this absolutely gorgeous Shovel Knight Perler. The matte melt on this is absolutely fantastic. Beautifully detailed. I love the color work in this. All of Pearl Pop stuff is just so incredibly good. 
really fantastic. $5 minimum donation gets you in to win this one. Another prize I know you're going to dig, because thank you. The sympathy laughs from the audience, really, they make this job. <laughs> Fan Gamer and Yacht Club Games have teamed up for a $10 minimum donation. You can get in to win a Shovel Knight plush. You all know how much I love these soft friends. This is fantastic. It's one of my favorite things. It could be one of your favorite things. $10 minimum donation gets you in to win this. Another little friend that we have here, courtesy of Nicoli Cannoli. We got a Moogle. I am sure that this has been up to some kind of mischief when I wasn't looking because that's just kind of what they do, but um, I'll find out what it was up to later. $15 minimum donation. Again, thank you, Nicoli Cannoli, for sending this in. For a $25 minimum donation, we have a satisfactory prize bundle. This one is cool. We got the lizard doggo, we've got the mug, we've got a keychain set down there. Hopefully you can see okay. There we go. Courtesy of lizarddoggo.com, $25 minimum donation will get you in to win that. Thank you so much for sending that in to us. Also for a $50 minimum donation, this thing is so cool. We have the Doom Eternal prize pack. We have, I had all of the names of these memorized and then the camera went live and brain empty, no thoughts, just prizes. We have the Archvile, we have a Mancubus, we have an Arachnotron, we have a Baron of Hell, we have the pop art, three of these beautiful little pop art paintings down here. All of this is a single prize set. Thank you again, Bethesda, for sending this in to us. $50 minimum donation gets you in to win this. When you send in that $50 minimum donation to get in to enter everything I've shown here and all the other prizes available this block, this wasn't all of them, there are more. GamesDoneQuick.com slash donate, get your donation in, click on the prizes link to see what's available, check out the incentives that we've got. Uh, we are still working to get the OOT beta uh, showcase added later on today. Really looking forward to that, really want that one in. Please get those donations in. I know it seems like there's time, but it moves fast. When you put in that $50 minimum donation, you're also a quarter of the way to winning or to getting entered to win our grand prize bundle. Heroic Replicas has hooked us up once again. Sly Cooper's Cane, the Fire Emblem Falchion. Uh, four other items included in that as well. You can see the picture on the website. Find out all the details on the website, gamesdonequick.com. Things move fast here. It's Friday morning already. We are already over one and a quarter million dollars. Y'all are amazing. Incredible. Thank you so much. Please keep it up. I will be back again a little bit later to talk about some of the other awesome things we have. But for now, I'm going to go ahead, send it up to Epiphany for the satisfactory run. Thank you again, everybody. We'll see you real soon. Thank you so much, Mr. Game and Shout. We had a $1,500 donation come in during that Shovel Knight run from Mott. Yeah. They said, I came in late to the Shovel Knight run and am so confused. I guess it's a game of making numbers get big, so let's make that donation total get big too. Well, we are in the process of that. Let's keep those donos coming in for that. And as Shout said, we are ready for satisfactory.